Los Angeles. Big, big, big heist came out of Los Angeles this week. Look, 13 million. Didn't notice right away, they okay. said. <laughs> yeah, they oh, like didn't. 30 mil, that's literally like a. They, they said that they didn't notice till a, a couple, maybe hours or a day. Tune into the video and see what. It's being called one of the largest cash ice in LA history. Sure is. Let's go out to Gigi Graciette in Silmar, where burglars broke into the vault of a money storage facility. They got away with a lot of money, Gigi. And as you said, Brooke, this seems like something out of a movie, a Mission Impossible movie. Take a look at the video. This is all happening here in Silmar on Easter Sunday. An estimated $30 million stolen in cash from a Silmar money storage facility. The burglars reportedly breaking in either through the side of the building or the roof and then managing to open up a vault where the cash was being stored without triggering any yeah. of the sophisticated <laughs> alarms. Arms. And the burg thirty million. No, they they knew the system of it. They they worked there, mm -hmm. or they were contract. They're like H about because that's they just know. Like, that's it's way too clean. Like and for nobody to even recognize it happening is going to have taken more than five minutes, but. This is wild, dude. Sure. Burglary crew was so stealth hey, and what would you do with thirty million dollars though? Got the chance. It's like how do you even clean literally need to somehow get get it out the states? You know what I mean? Yeah. We literally gotta get it out the state. Then you could transfer it that way. But you can't travel. Not a, with yeah, them. not any like NATO country that in like an island or something. Somewhere extremely dangerous, but mm -hmm. but I don't think you'll be able to keep very keep like that's true. You have to pay somebody to you have to pay a lot of people. Million is a lot, though, man. I I could do so much with thirty million. I, it might be, it might have been worth it. I don't know. <laughs> that no one noticed the money was gone until Monday when employees opened up the vault, which showed no obvious signs of a break-in. Now the company is Garda World. They have branches around the world and over one hundred and thirty-two thousand employees, and they specialize in cash services, which includes ATM services and armored truck transports. According to their website, some of their clients sense, are Fortune 500 companies, even the United cash. States federal government, along with other international government agencies. And reportedly, not everyone who works at this facility knew that that much money was being stored here. The place is pretty secure. Uh, alarm system, they check to make sure that the alarm is set up. So, you know, just to think that they were able to go through the security system and get away with all that money, it's a, it's a shocker. Now, that was a Garda World employee who asked that we not identify him. Again, they managed to somehow go around that alarm system. And, of course, that's something both the FBI and the LAPD are looking at right now. And, of course, they always, as in most crimes, start with those closest to the crime. And that would be looking at the employees. Reporting live. Other employees, said, yeah. Like you said, it had to be one of them. Like. At least there's one person's connected off the alarm system, maybe somebody door type of thing. Somebody, somebody, somebody got away with it on the run. They did not get caught. 30 million. They're going to have to make a movie about this one. Let me know how you guys feel about that down in the comments. 